well, well, well. Guess who's back on the scene? I got a gripe. I'm offended. Family. You know who it is already. This drummer boy, 1980. I don't make believe. I make believe. Hope you're having a good day today. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why and remember. Happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair with family. We back again today with some egregious news. Something that needs to be addressed. I wasn't going to say anything, but some things just need to be pointed out. And it's for my edification and yours as well, all right? Anton Daniels. Mm. I have no sympathy for you. I have no sympathy for anybody. You get what you deserve. Wherever it is that you are in life, that's your bed, sleep in it. I don't care where you were born. I don't care where you come from. I see immigrants coming over here every day from third world countries, outworking you, outpacing you, and making you look bad. I don't care about your reparations. Listen, I don't care if you ever get it. As a matter of fact, I'm advocating against it because it's going to fuck up my dollar and, and make inflation go out of control. And so I don't want them to pay you. I don't want you to have nothing. Don't give these motherfuckers nothing. As a matter of fact, not only do I not want you to get nothing from reparations, I think that they should tax you for breathing. Tax you for breathing this good old air that we working so hard and paying our tax dollars for in order to be able to make sure that you got this good old air and this good old water. It's people in Detroit. Shout out to my dog, uh, Steph is cold. I'm reading Super Chats in, in a minute. It's people in Detroit right now that said that they deserve water. They deserve clean water even if they don't pay for it. Says who? Back in the day, they had to go all the way over into the river and dig wells and filter the system they self in order to make sure that all of their people in the Navy Village had clean water. Who said you deserved anything? Listen, I hope they don't give you a fucking dime. Now, as a matter of fact, if they if they create a I'm against reparations committee, I'm going to be the first person to sign up and donate to it. You heard it first. I just wanted you to hear it. What do you think about that? Now, I'm going to be as diplomatic as possible as I can be because I want to jump out my skin. But I'm going to just remain calm, all right? Let's address the talking points that he said. But follow me. I'm going to take you down the road, but it's all going to make sense in the end. All right? And Tyne Daniels say, he don't think you deserve to get no reparations. You know what? I will give you that. He's entitled to his opinion, right? But he goes on to say, and this is not a victimless crime. This is treason. This is treacherous. He's a turncoat. Benedict Honor in the flesh. What he said next is irredeemable. He goes on to say he advocates against it. What do I always tell y'all guys over here? We can have a difference of opinion. That's fine. But I always tell you, and you can go back and tell my archives because I have an ideology and it's solidified from top to bottom. You can't punch holes through my ideology. I always tell y'all guys, if you have a black person to have a difference of opinion, that's fine. He's entitled to that. But when you start going against the group for your own benefit, that's where the line is thrown at. And what did he say? I hope you don't get nothing because this going to start messing up my dollar. That's what he said. Go back and listen at it. That's what he said. Not me. You want to hear it again? He said it's going to mess up my dollar. That is the working definition of cooning. That's the working definition of a sambo. That's the working definition of a jigaboo. He will sell out the other members of the group. And he going to tell you, well, I'm not part of a group. You, I don't care whether you like it or not. That skin you wear, you are classified. It doesn't matter whether you feel 
like anything. When you sell out the group, that's it for you. This man say he advocate against it because he said it's a handout. Family, anybody with any rational thoughts or common sense can see through this and punch holes through this. This is a blood debt that's old. It's about being held accountable. Now, granted, see, I'm a balanced person. See, I'm not like these people on these internets be trying to fake the funk and trying to pander. I don't do that. If it wasn't done for the Jewish people, the Red Indians, because they were some black ones, but that's another conversation. Uh, for the uh, Japanese and all this. If it wasn't done for them, I could see his point. But don't get to us. And now you want to move the goalposts. Everybody else got theirs that was did wrong in society. So now it's our turn. And when it's our turn, we have turncoats standing in the forefront running interference for the master. He's running interference for the power structure. And Tan is amplifying. He's signal boosting. Because he want to go mainstream. That's the catch with him. He want to go mainstream. So what he doing, he's signal boosting. He trying to let everybody know, well, I feel the same way about them niggas. I don't think that they deserve nothing. As a matter of fact, this is the same thing he do with just pearly things. He stand in defense of just pearly things. Somebody that wouldn't spit on you if you was on fire. But he stand like her defense lawyer. You see, Sir Rod Garvey, he was grilling him like he was trying to prosecute him. But with Pearl, he giving us softball questions, answering questions for her. And they share the same sentiments because she says she don't believe in reparations either. And that's fine to have a difference of opinion. But he said he advocate against it. He trying to go mainstream, guys. He'll do anything or sell at anybody at any cost to obtain what he wants. And that's sad. He a sad sack of a person, of a man. And he trying to hazard a, ah, you know, you know, that's the victim Olympus. You are a disgrace amongst the people. You shouldn't even be allowed to even show your face, man. If you said that you don't think that they deserve a person, okay, cool, fine. But you go farther and you do the unthinkable and you let this foolishness fly out of your mouth. You get on camera and you say, I advocate against it. I ain't never seen a group do this. Excuse me. Yes, I have. If you know anything about history, Anton, let me talk to you. The Jewish people had this problem as well. Oswald, Germany, go do some research. When the Nazis was killing the Jewish people or what have you, there was other Jewish people helping them. If you know anything about history, they was getting paid to turn in other Jewish folks. Go do some history, man. See, ain't nothing new up under the sun. See, we know your kind. There was other Jewish people turning them up. But at the end, the same people that was turning up, the other Jewish people couldn't be trusted. So what did they do with them? Put those folks in the gas chamber right along with them. Because you can't be trusted. Because if you turn on your own, you know good and well, you will turn on them. That's how they view you. See, but you thinking that you getting ahead somehow. You ain't getting ahead, man. What you doing is burning bridges on both sides. And you going to see what I'm saying. I put you in the category with Larry Elder, Jesse Lee Peterson, Officer Tatum, the black conservative, all these buck dancing Negroes that thinking somehow they are getting ahead. But I pray I still be around for y'all wake up call. I want to witness it. 
I want to be on the front row with a bird's eye view witnessing your wake up call. Let's address another point. You said that you're a Christian, right? So am I. And let me go ahead and chop heads right now. The Bible said judgment starts at the house of God. So you say you're a Christian and I'm a Christian. How is it? You can get on camera and swear so much like how you do. And don't come with ain't nobody perfect. Because this has become a lifestyle for you. It's not a mistake. See, guys, the Christians are allowed to make mistakes, but it's just that, a mistake. It's not a lifestyle. Let's say I go out here and I cheat on my wife one time or two times. But then I stop doing that. I repent. Repent simply means to turn away from. Denounce it and turn away from it. But whenever I keep doing it in repetition, it become a reoccurring thing at that point. That's a lifestyle. I'm sitting here listening at you. Swearing up and down with some of the most egregious language. But yet you call yourself a Christian. I'm calling cap on that. Because a Christian wouldn't move like how you move. A Christian wouldn't make money, which is called mammoth, his God. Do I lack money? Yes, but you heard me say lack. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. And what you're doing is very evil. See, I'm going to tie it all up together for y'all. See, people don't want to deal with me. I'm telling you, people don't want to deal with me. Because I shine a spotlight on you. If you say you're a Christian, the Bible talk about accountability, restitution. The Bible talk about justice throughout the whole Bible. The Bible says if you steal a man cattle or something like that, you have to give him back his cattle and double. It also have a scripture in that way. It talk about giving him seven times what you stole from him. So whenever you say you're against reparations, I know you ain't no Christian. You ain't, you can't be of God because God like recompense. He like restoration. And you don't. You call it a hand me out. So who are you really serving? It's my question. Because the Bible talk about accountability. The Bible talk about reaping what you sow. So in other words, don't worry about that. Just go on and just don't worry about it. You know, that's the victim of Olympus. You know, that's the victim of Olympus. And you a Christian? Using all type of unseemly language? The book also says in time, if you want to know, blessings and curses don't come out of the same eye. There's something wrong with that. And people know what I'm talking about. Your mouth is filthy. And I'm talking to the Christian folks. If you don't believe in the most high Jesus Christ, this is not for you. This is for the Christian people. Okay. Because some people don't believe in that's fine. You have the right to do so. But so don't be in the comments. Say, well, God is fake. That's your opinion. And you are entitled to that. That's fine. But I'm talking to the Christian folks. Okay. The Bible talk about justice. And you want to overlook a just thing. So something is wrong with that. Another point, guys. Didn't you go on Dr. Phil? Now, this was his shining moment, his coming out party, his stump speech. Go look it up. And what did he do when he get on Dr. Phil? This fool says, He worrying about the people stealing his wheels off his car. Oh, I'm telling you, he's signal boosting. He want a job on Fox News or either he want to go main screen. Because these are white supremacy talking points. That's all it is. Victim Olympus, that's white supremacy talking points. People using the term woke out of context, that's white supremacy talking points. These BLM, 
That's white supremacy talking points. He get on there talking about somebody stealing his wheels. Oh, so you live in the hood or something? See, he, you can poke holes all through his ideology, his stories. A lot of people labor Anton as a snake oil salesman. The very dirty practices. That's what they say. I don't know, but I'm not here to talk about his uh, business practices, but I'm talking about the things that I have witnessed. His shining moment, he goes talk about something about kids stealing wheels off his car. You don't live in no hood, so what are you talking about? Or oh, people really stealing wheels off of cars nowadays? People used to do that, but people don't hardly really do that no more. They might be a case here or there, but that's an old trope, guys. I'm trying to tell you, he's signal boosting. He trying to signal to the power structure that he want to be in with them, but you're going to soon find out. You're going to soon find out. But you a Christian, huh? You against reparations, huh? You do a disservice to all the people that look like you. I'm all about getting money as well. I ain't broke. See, and the thing is, they try to just make it sound like everybody just sitting around not doing anything and begging for money. That is the narrative that they want to paint. But we ain't going to let you paint that. This is not BLM, homie. This is the real grassroots. This is the real grassroots. We see you coming from a mile away. He going to get on down the field, guys. Wrap, guys, wrap your head around this. He going to get on down the field in good company with Jesse Lee Peterson, both of them. The same thing. And he going to get on there and talk about some wheels. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, boy, you are the worst of the worst, man. And I wasn't going to say anything, but whenever I heard you say that you advocate against reparations, I said, yeah, I got to say something now. I got to say something because he going against the group now. Oh, no. I told you already. I'm a vanguard. I call it out. And there are some more people that's running around up in this space. But I'm not going to say nothing yet. I'm going to just wait till the right time. Charge you for breathing this good old air. Don't that sound just like a fool to y'all? Who is supporting this? Who is supporting this right here? He said immigrants come over here and outperform. Outperformers doing what? If they was built like that, why couldn't they do it home? Why did we have to make a lane for them to come here and do it if they was built like that? And I love my immigrants. I love my family from the diaspora. I love you. And you know I rock with you, but I don't rock with the coons. I don't rock with the coons. Me personally, I think the coons need to be dealt with for real. Because the truth of the matter is, it's not the people on the outside. It's the people on the inside that trip you up with that old slew foot. That's an old term, what the old folks used to call the devil. See, some people will sell you out for a little or nothing. Judas is sitting right amongst y'all. And y'all can't see Judas for a couple pieces of silver. See, what Anton does, he take the dregs of society and he try to cast that over the whole group. And call it trash Black culture trash There's more than People acting ratchet I got people around me That's engineers Doctors Pharmacists Judges Lawyers Business owners Managers at jobs So what is he talking about? See he choose to focus on the bottom He choose to do that Cause that's what everybody else do To try to get a point across That's how the news media feed it to you because they're trying to paint a narrative but some of us can see through the matrix you can't fool everybody all the time you can fool some of the people some of the time but I'm one of the ones you, you can't fool man I saw it back and I watched that time he has some good points whenever it comes to relationships but I can't even listen to him no more simply because he don't cross the line and I hope everybody see you for what you are. 
because you one of the worst of the worst. You a Derrick Jackson, but just you don't pander to women like Derrick Jackson. You pander to the power structure because everybody can see you're lying. Everybody can see that you are turncoat. Everybody can see you a Benedict Honor. And the way you defended just pearly things, we all know what you is, but but some of us knew prior to that. As a matter of a fact, guys, I met Anton Daniels in person and in Atlanta. I shook his hand. I talked to him. He's very congenial, very cool guy. We was talking about uh, relationships, and I told him, I do agree with you on 95% of the things you say about relationships. But I also told him, I said, but whenever it comes to race, Anton, I said, you are far off, throw caution to the wind. I mean, you are off. And we can all see that you're trying to appease somebody. And that's fine. But whenever everything come to a head, there will be nobody here standing to have your back. Because we have seen this story so many times. But some people have to get burnt in order to know that the stove is hot. And you need to get right with the most high God, Jesus Christ. Because the way that you operate, it's going to be detrimental to your soul, homie. And that's all that I'm going to say. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Every now and then, they have to be some house cleaning, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Come on back to see. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.